my career evolved, I learned that I had to help the human body heal because each and every one of us has our healer within him or her. And a physician's role is to help that healer promote the healing necessary. Why should you be punished if you get the symptom called cancer? My point being is that if you don't understand why people have cancer, and things happen for a reason, okay, please understand that. Things happen for a reason. If you don't understand the reason, you don't understand the problem. And if you don't understand the problem, how can you find the solution? They don't want health care in this country. Please understand, we have a sick care system. That is what we have in this country. We treat symptoms, hopefully to keep you sick, feeling better, coming back. That's the system. Whereas I think that's BS. There are way too many Americans, not enough doctors, no one's gonna run out of patients. That is exactly what traditional medicine teaches us. That anything that isn't traditional is not based on science and therefore has very little, if any, value. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Alternative medicine can be easily defined as anything when it comes to cancer. It has nothing to do with chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or surgical intervention. So if it doesn't have to do with those three, then it's an alternative. So the whole purpose is to educate. That's a physician's role, is to educate. So that you understand why we're asking, not telling, asking you to do what we ask of you. Because you are the most important tool in your tool chest. However, when patients are diagnosed with cancer, I tell them stop exercising because you need to take your energy and use it for your immune system because you have a pie of energy like I do. And once that pie of energy is gone, then you're exhausted. So let's be honest here. But, but I'm not wishing it on me, I wanna live. So I'm putting out to myself, stay healthy, stay vibrant so that I can get my immune system to keep me healthy because my body, just like everybody else's body, is under attack all the time.